bite of my waffle because I feel like I'm just hangry. Um, but I also have an egg bite here. Nash, it's not for you. These are the egg bites. Oh, they're in the trash. These made great egg bites. So good. Um, yeah, that is my breakfast this morning. Already crushed my coffee. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna turn the stairs on, y'all. It is Saturday. I don't think I've had a single sip of water all day and it's 1038. Um, I actually started slash attempted to start this vlog earlier, but it didn't, it just like the footage wasn't great. I'm having like some major self-confidence issues this morning after trying on some outfits that I had planned for Disney. I just think I need a good tan. Like I'm so pale. Um, my hair was not done. So like, I just felt a mess. And I hadn't showered yet, hadn't eaten yet. I don't know, like something, all the things just were not aligning correctly this morning. So I'm feeling much better now. I've got my cute little gym set on. I'm getting ready to go work out and I know it's gonna make me feel a hundred times better. Um, <clears throat> I also probably just was like feeling stressed because we are leaving for Disney on Tuesday morning. And like I said, today's Saturday. Sorry, I'm watching my dogs outside behind you. Um, we're leaving Tuesday morning and today's Saturday. So I work tonight and tomorrow night. And then Michael and I both have Monday night off because we leave at like six in the morning on Tuesday. Um, we fly out. So I'm feeling stressed all that to say because I have not packed a single thing. My guest bedroom looks a mess because it's full of like a bunch of clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm just complaining to complain. So I'm sorry for that, but welcome to the vlog. It is going to be a couple days in the life of a nurse, um, like two shifts and prep with me for Disney. So that's what we're going to get done. Um, like I said, today's Saturday. I am working tonight, but I mean, I've been up for a few hours. I've been up probably since eight. Um, I don't think I'm going to nap today just because like I said, I've got so much going on. I've got so much to do. The house is a mess. Um, and we're selling our Traeger. Uh, grill so someone's going to pick that up today from Facebook marketplace so I've got to kind of get that cleaned and ready Michael's sleeping because he worked last night um, but yeah welcome to the vlog sorry that it started off so like rocky and complaining but we're gonna turn the day around uh, I'm gonna go get a good workout in I'm gonna feel a hundred times better afterwards I'm just praying manifesting that um, but yeah so it's gonna be a good one we're gonna do a couple shifts um, we're gonna do a couple night shifts in the life and then we're gonna go to Disney. So it's gonna be great. Monday, we're gonna be packing, taking the dogs to their sitter's house. Um, I'm trying to convince Michael to get pedicure with me because I'd like to before going to Disney. Um, it's gonna be so nice in Florida, but we'll see. Uh, he's got a haircut on Monday. And yeah, hopefully we can squeeze a workout in on Monday too. We'll see, that's kind of overzealous because we get off Monday morning from night shift and we gotta kind of hit the road running. So we shall see. But anyways, sorry that I'm just rambling at this point and complaining. I hate to do that, but <clears throat> I didn't want to like start the vlog off with like, I don't know, knowing that I wasn't like feeling super confident this morning. I just felt like I wasn't in a great mood. So we're going to turn the day around. We're going to be in a great mood and just letting y'all know that like everybody has those days where you just feel off. You feel ick. You feel, you know, maybe not confident in yourself. Um, just like don't feel right. I don't know. Sometimes things just don't align 100% properly to where you're feeling your best and that is okay. Um, but you just have to like consciously choose to not continue feeling that way and not fall into a rut. Um, so what I'm doing, even though I don't feel like leaving the house because it's so windy out, is going to the gym, prioritizing my health, getting the work I'm in. Really need to chug this today. I'm doing decent with water, but especially coming up with like having so much activity next week and all the traveling and such, I need to really fuel up on my H2O. So still loving this cup, by the way, it's the Brumet Era cup. Um, but I even went as far as to like film some of my try on um, for my outfits for Disney for you guys. And I'm just gonna delete all that footage because I just felt like crap mentally. So we are going to get in a better headspace, like I've been saying, and I'm just watching the dogs go potty outside real quick. I'm gonna bring them in in a second and they're just gonna hang out here while I go to the gym. And then when I get back, oh, I've got a couple of Amazon returns to make as well. Um, and then when I get back, we have to clean out the Traeger. We have not used it in a long time. Like we've used it to make sure that it works properly to post it on Facebook Marketplace, but we haven't like used it. Um, so I need to clean it and get it prepared for 
to go. Um, we just don't use it anymore. We use the big green egg out there. Um, that's her favorite like smoker. So anyways, I'm glad that we're getting rid of that. We're also getting rid of that chair. If you can't see it, that like spinning chair um, tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. So Michael's taking that to someone that uh, works with him and we're gonna sell that. And then this couch we still have listed for sale if you live in the outside of Nashville area. Um, take our couch from us. We're selling it for like 200 bucks because we just wanna get rid of it. It does have a small like rip hole in it, um, but we've already bought a new one that's coming beginning of April. So we're really excited about that. And I haven't even showed you guys like my new dining table and stuff. So maybe we'll do that today too. I just, I haven't really showed y'all like all the updates that we've made, but it makes me so happy to like have some fresh furniture in here. I'm just like one of those people that changes their style and loves to like furniture rearrange. I'm sure many of you do, um, but I try to do it in like, an affordable way or I try to find things on sale and I'm always selling what I do have like I don't typically like just donate it I'll normally sell it to get like a couple bucks back um but yeah anyways all that was definitely rambling but we're kind of doing like a little redecorate situation um so going to Disney next week working our shifts going to Disney next week and then the week after that we get back it's Easter weekend and our, um, my in-laws are coming and my father-in-law is gonna help my husband install some new flooring in this kitchen slash dining area because when we walk in through the back door, um, it is buckling. I don't know if you call it buckling or bucking, but like when the floorboard like comes up from the baseboard. Um, I just don't think that our builder put like the best flooring in this house. I love the color of it. I love the way it looks, but I don't think it's super durable. So we're just having to change that out, which is okay. Um, I think it'll add a nice like fresh look to the kitchen, but it was kind of a bummer to like only have lived here two years, not even two years yet, two years in April and have to replace some of the floors, but it's okay. Things happen, that's called being a homeowner, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, so yeah, that's what we have going on the week after that. And then I think our couch is also supposed to deliver that week too. So I really need to get rid of this one. Um, so we've got a lot of good, like fun home updates coming. Hopefully I can share that with you guys and vlog all that. The dogs are like running up to the front door right now. So I'm gonna let them in. Um, I got them some really cute bandanas. We'll put on them today too. I'll show you guys those. Of course they're from Amazon, just like everything in my life. Um, but yeah, we will reattempt the Amazon, or we will reattempt the um, Disney try on and like planning my outfits out when I'm feeling a little bit better. Probably on Monday um, or maybe later today. We'll see. Y'all want to come on in? Hi, is it so windy outside? They run in here like crazy. So if you guys can see, this is what I mean by the bucking, buckling, whatever. Yeah, it's like coming apart. So I think it's from moisture. We do have a hot tub out here. Um, so I don't know if that like contributes to it, but it ain't good. So Michael's switching those out. Okay, so I didn't film going in there because it's kind of like a smaller little shop, but I stopped by one of my favorite places in Gallatin. It's called the Nutrition Nook. I haven't been in months because it's kind of expensive. Um, and I've just been trying to like minimize my like getting expensive drinks out, but today it was necessary. I just like saw the sign and I was like, that's just gonna put me in an even better mood today. And I kind of need a little bit of extra something because I don't plan on taking a nap today before my shift. So I need to power through the day and I've got so much more to do when I get home. And I needed something to get me through my leg day today. So Nutrition Nook is where it's at. It's really just like one of those little like supplemental like tea slash, pr uh, slash protein shake stores. So that's what I've got an energy tea. Um, this is like their shamrock shake edition and it's absolutely delicious. Um, so that's already putting me in a better mood, you guys. Yay, yay, yay. So I'm gonna sip on that during my leg day today. It's gonna be great. And Michael and I have been to the gym the past two days and we've run a mile each time. But today I think I'm gonna give my legs a rest from running and just lift them. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like a quad focused leg day, but I probably will hop on the treadmill. Um, afterwards and do like a quick like 30 not quick but like 20 to 30 minute um incline walk to get a little bit of cardio in so really proud of myself though for running two miles the past two days in a row that's it's pretty good i'm not a big runner um and we've been kind of like slacking on being consistent with our workouts recently so i'm proud of that um but anyways today we're doing leg day we're gonna incorporate some cardio toward the end 
and it's gonna be a good workout and I'm so happy that I have a nice little energy tea to get me through. Isn't she cute? Bye. It's in the mail. My sister-in-law's birthday is actually while we're in Disney with them. Son, I need you to calm down. <laughs> um, but I got this off of um, Etsy as I get all of my gifts basically off of Etsy. Um, so I haven't even looked at it yet. So hopefully I'm not recommending it and it's not what I want. <gasps> it is what I want. Oh, Hold on, let me see the, let me bring in the light. Nashy, come on, let's go inside. Okay, so it is a bracelet that I got for my sister-in-law. It says Tennessee Heart, Virginia. Um, because they live in Virginia, we live in Tennessee, and we're like super close with them. And I just thought that was super cute. Thoughtful little birthday gift. And it's something easy that I can just pack in my suitcase, and it doesn't weigh a ton. Um, but it's still like a sweet little gift that I think she'll like. So just a little bracelet, customized. I will link her Etsy shop or this product below but it looks like it's good quality, so. Finally about to have my yogurt. This is the Zero Sugar Dan and Lighten Fit Cookies and Cream. These are my favorite chocolate chips. You enjoy life minis. I didn't know that not all chocolate chips are gluten-free, like some of them have wheat in it, in them. But these don't. So anyways, I'm gonna have my yogurt. I just, I'm kinda out of breath because I just finished cleaning out the grill, making sure it was all ready for someone to come pick it up later. I guess in like another hour and a half. Um, yeah, so he's coming to come get the grill. I'm gonna wake Michael up around that time so he can help him carry it off the back porch and load it up. So that'll be gone. It'll be nice to like have, I thought I had soot on my face. It'll be nice to have open space um, on our back deck now, but. Anyways, I just spent some time doing that and that's pretty much all I've done since I've gotten home. I literally just went straight to that because I knew it had to get done. Um, but now I'm gonna have my yogurt. I'm gonna have this and maybe something else before then, but it is 1.50 right now. Normally by this time I would be taking a nap, but we've just got way too much to do. So the sleep is gonna sacrifice, which is very sad, but. Earlier that I would share their cute little bandanas. Gracie is just like, having a nap day because I cannot get her out of the bedroom with Michael. She's just in there snoozing away. So we're going to put Nash's on. He's got the carrots and I love that these are reversible. So they're like gingham or checkered plaid, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I can wear them or they can wear them after Easter. So Nashy, do you want your new bandana? Oh yeah. Oh wow, he's so handsome. He's such a good boy. It's not gentleman like. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness, it's so much smaller. Nash, no sir. Thick boy. Oh my goodness, we're working with. As you can see, it's very treacherous. Um, don't ask, okay? This is just how it is. Also, I got this book that everybody and their mother has read and is obsessed with. And I mainly got it for Disney and like the flights and stuff. So this will be like my little vacation book. Um, so it's kind of random, and then my body spray is kind of random, but you know, all the rest of the stuff is just like clothes, things were taken to Disney, the Disney ears. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get all my outfits in one spot. That's all stuff that we took like camping, and we washed and cleaned and need to put back in the camper. Um, but yeah, I need to fold up all of these, figure out what's going on here, and put all of our Disney stuff in one spot so it is ready for packing. out of bed. We made some coffee, sipping on it. I did, I made some progress in that guest bedroom. I can show you guys. I've just basically folded up all my clothes, put all the Disney stuff in like a Disney pile. Michael is starting up the big green egg and we are waiting for our Facebook marketplace peeps to come and pick up this Traeger. Uh, and then we'll start kind of getting ready for night shift. Dinner. 
This is just chopped up lettuce for now, but we're gonna turn it into two salads. We've got mushrooms that are going out on the big green egg and Michael just threw some chicken out there with Sloppy Mama and adobo. And I guess he put hot honey on it too. So that's gonna be dinner. We're still waiting on this guy to come and pick up the trigger. Dawn opened up a bunch of space out there. So we just like moved the chair. It was a very seamless transaction, which we always love with the Facebook marketplace. You just never know. Um, so we got that sold. Working on getting the couch sold currently because we're not gonna be here next week. And the week after is supposedly when the new couch is getting delivered. So I'm not really too worried about not having a couch or a place to sit for a week because we won't be here. Um, so yeah, so that's our next marketplace agenda situation. Michael, did you wanna come say hello to the vlog today? <laughs> um, we're doing a couple shifts in a Disney prep with me vlog. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Can't wait. Are you so excited for Disney? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> ecstatic? Yeah. That sounds sarcastic. Sure, you are? We are. We're very excited. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I think I did in a couple of vlogs ago, but we're going with our nephew and our sister and brother-in-law. Um, so it's going to be really fun. And yeah. Is that my well, my brother-in-law. <laughs> Anyways, Michael's brother and sister-in-law. Um, he is out there grilling on the bakery egg right now, fixing us some dinner. And yeah, I don't want to go into my shift tonight, but it's only two shifts, so I can do anything for two shifts. But this was just my life, 24/7, and I only worked part-time, like only worked two shifts a week. That's not even part part-time, I don't think. I don't know. But if I worked that. My life would be golden. I mean, my life is golden. Let's be real. But that would be awesome. <laughs> um, my particular unit, though, is very stingy about um, giving out part-time positions or like PRN or any. It's basically non-existent on my unit, so that really sucks. Um, but it's okay for now. Anyways, the dogs look so cute in their little Easter um, bandanas. Dogs using their bandanas in my dirty, dirty. Um, glass, but it's okay. Look how cute! An orange crush, a little sugar. A guy getting ice. Chicken thighs. Uh, corn top. Mushrooms. And a little makeshift salad. That's what's for dinner. Just packed real quick. Cleaned up the kitchen. Got a quick clean on. I've got to get the um, clothes out of the dryer. And pop them into our laundry room and yeah we've got probably what 45 minutes a little less than when i gotta start getting ready dogs are just chilling chilling we have a march madness man yuffie it makes our life so much easier i think i've ever shown you guys that we got a new dining room table and chairs all from wayfair i can link it if you want me to i'll make like a little like to know it page just let me know if you want the link for it um but super affordable super cute fits our space so much better um we also got michael i don't know if i've included this in the vlog yet this bourbon cabinet for his birthday and i think it looks really nice in our little dining area probably should do something with this pretty much out of all of my hair products Okay, brush my teeth. I just found these in my bag, so I figured I'd mention them, but I'm gonna do these for Disney. Hopefully they turn out okay. Ohora, Ohara, semi-cured gel nail strips. So I have like a little LED, is it LED? I don't know, the little, yeah, LED lamp um, already. So apparently you just pop these on and put them underneath the lamp and they look good. So it says, so we'll see. I'm gonna try that for Disney. I wish I hadn't stopped recording. My cute little husband just came in here and he was like, I really like your hair. <laughs> but I stopped recording so I could blend out my blush a little more because it's still looking a little strong. Look at my brows. Brush them up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do one more thing. It's this um, clear mascara that I just got from Elle. 
It's like a double ended thing. I just use it on my brows, but it's like a brow gel and a mascara. You just have to make sure you look to see this is the lash side. I don't really know if it's gonna do anything, but we're gonna try. Our goldens in the background, our crazy basketball husband, and our two drinks coffee, water, work bag, lunch bag. I don't know if my hair will stay like this, but it's good for now. And um, we're heading out. It is 5 22. We are heading out only two minutes behind schedule. Love that for me. Um, yeah, going in tonight, one of two. Praying for a good assignment tonight, as usual. We'll see, I'm sure it will be. Um, but got two nights. I'm so excited to just be done and head off to Disney on Tuesday morning. Uh, but we gotta get through these two shifts for it first and we have to manifest good vibes. I meant to bring my Bible and I did not. Normally if I'm leaving like around 5.20, I'll try to bring my Bible with me. Um, or I have been recently, I wouldn't say normally, but uh, bring my Bible in my daily devotional. That way, when I get to work in the parking deck, if it's a little early, because sometimes it is, I just account for like more time in the traffic and I live an hour away from work. Y'all know the drill. Um, anyways, I'll sit there and read my Bible and do my devotional for the day that I have not done today. Uh, but I forgot it at home, so you win some, you lose some. It's okay. Uh, but I do have that Court of Thor Thorns and Roses book to read tonight at work. So we'll see. Hopefully I can get some reading in in my downtime. And yeah, it's going to be a good night. We're manifesting great vibes. We have a XXL coffee. I feel like I've been doing nothing all day but drinking caffeine. So not great for my adrenals, but you got to do what you got to do. So hopefully the night goes good and I don't crash, which I have a feeling I might, but it's okay. So, anyways, and on the way to work, and I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning when I get off. Good morning. I am so tired. Where's my badge? I don't remember taking that off. No, I did take it off. I'd be struggling this morning, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. First of all, I look like Count Dracula or something. I literally went to the bathroom after my lunch today, or this morning, and looked down and had a humongous glob of yogurt on my sweatshirt. It was like all up in the zippers and everything, so I had to like scrub myself down in the bathroom and get the yogurt off my sweatshirt. Um, so that's how my morning's going. But I am just so exhausted and I knew that not sleeping yesterday was going to come back to bite me in the butt. I knew it was. And also, I put eyelash serum on last night, and I don't know why I thought that was a good idea before working and keeping my eyeballs open all night long. But I did, apparently. I was like, oh, let me um, multitask here and do my eyelash serum while I work. No. We're, we're not doing that anymore. My eyeballs are literally, they might not look, they kind of do look a little red, but they are literally burning out of my freaking skull so not to be dramatic um but yeah all night long my eyes were burning they were dry and i don't think it's the eyelash serum because i've like used it before but i normally sleep afterwards obviously so yeah anyways that's all a side note i'm about to have my perfect bar and probably a banana too because that's what i have in this bag here to get me through my drive home I really want to go to church this morning and I feel really bad because we missed church last week. I don't know. We'll see what Michael wants to do. Regardless, we're going to watch church, obviously. I'm just like so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, we'll kind of see what the plan is for this morning. I haven't even heard from Michael yet this morning, so who knows. I didn't get off work late per se. 
I didn't get off work late at all, let's be honest. I got out of there probably like 7.10. Um, but I'm normally used to kind of like running out the door. Um, if my nurse shows up like early or on time or whatever, but she showed up a little bit later today, which is fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's just going to get me home later. So every minute counts when you work so far away from where you live. If you know, you know. Um, but anyways, I filled up my water. Of course, as you guys know, it's what gets me through my hour drive. And snacks, of course. So I'm going to have this. going to drink my water. And talk to my husband and see what he has to say about church this morning. Like I said, I would love to go. Like, we watched it online last week and it's still just so amazing, but it's so much better to just like be in church and just like feel God's presence there. So, hard to explain, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I also just don't wanna do anything that's gonna like jeopardize, like, I don't know, my overall health. I just feel like keeping my eyeballs pried open for another three, four hours just sounds not ideal, but we shall see, we shall see. Anyways, the night went well, my shift went well, my babies were good, uh, couldn't really ask for a better shift to be honest, so let's hope that tonight goes better, or tonight goes the same, and it's our last night. Woohoo! If you're a nurse and you work PRN or... Uh, like two shifts instead of three shifts. I don't know what that is, like 0.75 FTE or whatever. I'm so jealous of you and I want to be you. Anyways, that's that's it for my TED Talk this morning. I'm tired, I'm ranting. Talk to y'all later. I just did my skincare. I have my retinol on, so my skin is like super red, but this is what we've come to in this house. A banana with peanut butter for breakfast. Not the worst breakfast, definitely not the best. But it's about all we have here, so update, we decided we are going to do church online today. I hate doing that two weeks in a row, um, but sorry, I was reading a message, but it's just, it is what it is. I have to prioritize my sleep today, so um, yeah, we're still going to watch church. We're going to watch it online. I... We'll share it down in my description if you guys want to watch along. But I'm just watching the dogs roam around the backyard right now and going straight to sleep after I bring them in. Nothing. Okay. Yes. Did you receive you that like? message today? Or I no? did receive that message. What would you like? Your cup? Your cup? Would you like a Michael cup? I'd like nothing. The what oldest you cup like? you can find. Probably Michael. The oldest cup you can find. I want to have <laughs> I want to have I have not um, vlogged all morning. I guess technically it's afternoon, but it's five o'clock right now. We did not end up going to church this morning, so we woke up around three o'clock and we made um, just some wraps, like some turkey wraps, and sat in the bed and watched church, so that was good. Um, and then we made some coffee, we loaded up our, what do you call it, um, swivel chair that we have in our living room, because Michael's taking that to someone at work tonight to um, sell that, so got that done. And then I took a shower just now. We talked to my sister-in-law on FaceTime a little bit about our trip. And we're just kind of like planning out what tomorrow is going to look like. We're super excited. Um, but we have to get through the shift tonight first. So we can do it. Just doing a little bit of concealer. And I feel like I was going to say something like important-ish, but now I forget. <laughs> um, I really want to edit this vlog by the time we are in Disney, but we literally just have tomorrow to pack and get everything ready for the trip. And then um, we fly out. <laughs> That's probably what I was going to tell you guys. We fly out at 5.30 in the morning. 
um, on Tuesday. And I, Michael and I both work tonight, obviously. So <laughs> we're going to be dead tired because we're gonna have to stay up pretty much all day tomorrow to pack and get the stuff done that we have to get done before the trip. And then um, we're gonna have to wake up at 2.30 in the morning to leave for the airport because we live an hour away from our, from the national airport. So we love that for us. We'll survive, it'll be fine. But that's that's the plan. So we'll, we'll probably be struggle busting it a little bit, but it's okay. It is okay. I guess that was my only update. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of play by ear and figure tomorrow out, try to have a good day, but also a productive day. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna try, we have like an old rickety um, laptop MacBook from college that I'm gonna try to charge up and see if I can take with me while we travel to see if I can edit this video. That would really be like, preferred situation. I don't know if it's gonna work out like that, but we'll try. Because I know I'm not gonna have time tomorrow to sit down with the computer and do it. So hopefully I get this vlog up by then. But we're going in for night two of two and hopefully it'll be a good night, a quick night, and we can kind of get our packing going tomorrow. But I guess that's really the update. I'm gonna finish getting ready and head on out to work. Sorry, the AC is kicking because it's freaking hot in here. But I'm actually probably gonna have to change these out to my regular sunglasses. Um, I'm dying. It's really dying. It's hot outside, you guys, which I'm thankful for. I love the heat. Um, anyways, on the way to work, we are five minutes late today, so you know. Um, yeah, feeling very overwhelmed with everything that we have to do tomorrow to prepare for this trip, but we're gonna get it all done because we have no choice. And it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be so worth it when we get there. And we're Disney, we're living the Disney life. So excited about it. Um, again, sorry if you can't hear me because the AC is blasting, but I'm on my way in tonight two of two. Hopefully it's a good night. Uh, we'll catch up with y'all in the morning, but Michael was so sweet and got my outfit ready and packed my lunch and made, made sure I had everything for work ready. So yeah, that's kind of how the afternoon has gone a little bit chaotic, but it's okay. It's normally how it is in between shifts and we're just ready to be done with our work weekend. down there early so we can enjoy more time anyway yeah so we have a jam-packed day and hopefully can get in the bed at a reasonable time with all of what we have to do especially since we have to be up so early in the morning um at like 2 30 a.m so love that for us but it's gonna be so fun it's gonna be so worth it when we get down to disney we're super excited um still sipping on my alani that i cracked open at like 4 a.m my sweet friend um, in my pod got me this because she knew I needed the extra energy to get through. But I think I'm gonna stack up my banana too on the way home. I think I have one in here, I'm smelling it. Am I crazy? Uh, ooh, no, it's too right. JK, we're gonna have a perfect bar instead. So I stopped digging through my bag so I can drive, but um, I have my perfect bar. I'm gonna drink the rest of my Alani. Feeling pretty good. It was a good shift. I had my same assignment as the night before, relatively. I got a new baby. Um, but yeah, it was a good two nights. 
Like I said earlier in the vlog, I wish that was my life every week and I only had to work two shifts every week because it makes a world of difference not having to be back tonight. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to catch up with the vlog. Let y'all know I'm super pumped for Disney tomorrow and we're gonna take y'all through the day. Uh, hopefully it clears up a little bit so we get like more pep in our step because it's just like super gloomy outside. I need some sunshine to help me get through this day. But Michael will get off work here in the next like 30-ish minutes or so. And we're gonna kind of get a plan going for the day. But that's the update. Hope y'all are enjoying the vlog so far. I am gonna try to edit it hopefully while we're traveling tomorrow if I can get Michael's laptop to cooperate with me. So we'll see. That's on the to-do list for today. I spent um, a little bit of time last night making a to-do list of what we need to pack and what we need to do. I'm very type A, so I feel super unprepared right now because I have not packed a single thing and we're leaving tomorrow morning. So, time to get to packing. Hi, buddy. Hi, Nash. Hi, crazy girl. Hi, beautiful. All right, y'all. Made it home. Changed into my new. Okay. He's literally on the counter. Son, it's okay. He's such a nut. Um, changed into my little blue light glasses and my new Amazon PJs. They are super cute, but also super wrinkly. Um, just for the time being, we're gonna have to go out of the house probably the next I don't even know what time it is. eight o'clock so we're gonna probably have to leave the house in like two to three hours um but I just wanted to be comfy while we're getting stuff done so I need to throw in a load of laundry I need to make the bed slash wash the sheets do what we need to do in the bedroom um and then figure out like the clothing situation in my guest bedroom and finish picking out outfits for Disney um but yeah so that's on the agenda just want to say made it home Chugging some water. Probably gonna fix coffee too. That might be good, like a good little Nespresso to get us going. I feel like I've been drinking caffeine nonstop for the past like 16 hours, um, but you just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Uh, but I will link these PJs on, on Amazon. They're so freaking cute and comfy. This is like one of my favorite brands of pajamas from Amazon, so I'll link it below. But anyways, we're comfy, we're home. We're done with our shifts now, just to get our long, long to-do list done. It's much, much later now, it is six o'clock. I think I last updated you guys when I got home today, so it's been a journey. Um, we got everything, I haven't showed y'all, but I'll show you when we get home. We got everything laid out to pack in the suitcases. Um, we've taken showers. We've, what did we go do today? We ran an errand. Oh, we got Michael's hats. We got Michael's haircut. That's real. We did not get pedicures as planned because I was physically dying. I literally thought I was gonna have to go to the emergency room because I had the worst like stomach cramps I think I've ever had in my life. And they just came out of nowhere. And I think it was because I took a bunch of my like vitamins and pills and stuff on an empty stomach. And I didn't realize I had an empty stomach because I didn't think about it. But I hadn't eaten since my lunch last night. So yeah, it was really bad. And I just went home and crashed right to sleep. And we slept for about three hours. Yeah. So that's gonna be glorious and really help in the grand scheme of things. So I'm glad that it worked out that way. But I was so miserable. We had plans of like going to eat Thai food for lunch and like sitting down. And I physically like just could not. Um, so we stopped by Raisin Cane's on the way home and I couldn't even eat that. Like I had like two fries. It was bad. Um, but so I just ate my Raisin Cane's after my nap. I feel like a whole entirely different new person, which I'm very glad about. And yeah, we are, we have the dogs in tow back there. We're taking them to their sitter's house. She lives about an hour away from us. So we, it's a bit of a drive, but it's so worth it. She's literally the best dog sitter in 
God's creation. She's awesome. Um, so we're taking them there, and then we're gonna go back home and actually pack everything into the suitcase. Michael's gonna take a shower. Michael's gonna have to do a DIY pedicure at home because his toes looking rough, aren't they? Yeah, we have a cheese grater. No. That's a shame. He calls that little thing that you do your feet with a cheese grater. Um, That's what it is. Yeah, I guess. So, yeah, we missed out on the pedicures today, but it just wasn't gonna happen. It was not gonna happen. But we did find some good hats for Michael before we got his uh, haircut, so that was good. And we got some sleep in, which ultimately is gonna be really nice. So, hopefully we will be in the bed by nine o'clock, which gives us about an hour when we get home to like kind of get things done, so. We'll see if we can make that happen. I need to still self tan. I got little like press on nail situation things adhesives that I'm gonna try to do. We'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I guess that's really it for what we have to do when we get home. I just wanted to update y'all because I you're good. went totally in my and I was not having a good time. I was not. Um, yeah, anyways, anything else to update? No, we are T-minus, how long? I can't do math. I don't know. One night's sleep. Yeah. We are T-minus one night's sleep. I wouldn't even say that, it ain't much sleep. It's literally gonna be a nap. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 5 hours. One night shift sleep. Okay, we're going to our dog sitters and we'll catch up with y'all later. Okay. No, come shower. All right, little update. We are putting some curls in and then I'm gonna self tan. Dogs are at the sitter's house. Everything went well on that forefront. And yeah, Michael's gonna take a shower. Um, sorry, you guys can't even see me. Um, curling the hair, Michael's gonna take a shower. Dogs are at the dog room or at the dog sitter's. All that is our clothes laid out that need to be packed away. And yeah, we're making progress, slowly but surely. All right, we've got all of our outfits picked out. This is airport stuff for tomorrow. We got Michael's outfits. I think we're taking both of these suitcases because we're flying Southwest and they have two free checked bags. So that's exciting. Um, all of my outfits, these are just PJs. Those are the ones I was actually wearing today. Um, my carry-on bag, shoes, we're not taking the vacuum, I don't know why that's there, um, shoes and such, and then my sister-in-law's birthday is going to be while we're down there, so we got her little gift there, and we got her little birthday banner and a card, um, but that's pretty much all that's getting packed away, so I'm pretty impressed. Actually, before I forget, I need to grab my shirts out of the dryer. That would be tragic if we forgot our Disney shirts. So we're gonna pack our Disney shirts as well and we'll be all packed up.